already started it. Like I just did so yes, you can do whatever you want, you know, you don't try a bit more. Should be coming. Come on. Oh, I see a picture. I see a picture too. Now just tell me, am I getting it straight? That's better, right? Yeah, that's better. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to a live stream episode. Yes. Of Massey Art Studio. That's right. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And I'm at the table today. You starting are at the off. table. I am, I am. Let's wait for a couple more peeps to join um, us. Sun, uh, Sunette's here, Diane Hershey, Susan Shigori. The posse, everybody's saying hello. The Massey Posse in the house. Hello, Susan C. Thank you for being here. Nate was here as well. Yeah. Another one of the posse. I keep meaning to do this. Nate, if you are there, I'm going to come and join your newly formed Patreon account. Yes. Um, Nate is one of our patrons. I think it's only fair that we become one of Nate's. Exactly. So um, I'm sure you've already got a ton of them. You'll be adding one more very shortly. I oh, will wow. get a lot to of that people today. are starting to join us. We have Paige Coleman, Alvina, Ray, Andrea Eng Engels. Good morning, everyone. Happy bloody Sunday to Linda you all. Linda Lambert. Linda Lambert. Jennifer R. Yeah, people are like starting to... To flood in. Flood in. Well, come in. Take a seat. Uh, pour yourself another cup of coffee or maybe a mimosa if that's your if that's your tipple um, and watch us fools create some art for you today yes. I'm gonna start Jeremy because we only have 30 minutes okay what is that what are those on the yeah I'm gonna those? get to those in just a <laughs> second <laughs> I, lo I love the layup but give me I'm gonna get there but Jeremy was referring to the Gina DeLuca fluid art inspiration cards let me tell you why they are neatly atop my canvas why is that well and let me get to what I'm doing first so Jeremy yes exciting you picked this in this paw I did these colors for these paws we did an episode a while ago and Jeremy was like I really want to use those colors again so we are with a slight change to them um, and slight change because some of these are custom colours. So this is supposed to be similar to a green gold. It's actually an Amsterdam green that I've added some copper to. And you can't see this on camera, but it's got a real lovely kind of metallic hue to it. So that's my green gold by golden kind of colour. This is Pathalo, Pathalo Turquoise Deep. Love that colour. This one is Fiery Opal. Fire Opal by Treasure Gold. I love Fire Opal. It's such a weird colour because oh. sometimes it can look orange and sometimes it can look plum. And this time it looks very plum to me. Thank you, Angela, for that super chat. Angela? Yeah, thank Angela you. J. Sucker. Angela, thank you so very much. All the super chats go right back to the studio. Yes. So that'll buy paints and canvases for us. Thank you so much. This, as you'll all, all know, is 24 karat gold by Deco Art Metallics. Mm -hmm. This one we didn't have in the previous pour. This is Alizarin Crimson Hue. I love Alizarin. Another golden colour, which we really liked. And then this is a making of our own. This is actually white mixed with some burnt umber. So it's got like this delicious kind of like real light brown effect to it. Almost yeah. caramelly colour. It reminds me of like... Choc like chocolate cream. Yeah, yeah, know, like, uh, like milk chocolate, malt balls, that kind of yeah. stuff. You're making me hungry. This is a champagne mixture of our own concoction. We had champagne in the studio, but we wanted something even lighter. This is just white and 24 karat gold. So that's super light. And then here is just titanium white. Nice. Now that pour that we did on the channel was inspired by Regina de Luca. Oh, the wonderful, nice. talented, uh, fluid artist Gina De Luca. Little, little do people know that Gina De Luca actually was the very first person to invent the straight pour. Oh, wow. Tr true fact. She's had her channel for like five plus years. She was pouring before the pandemic when most of us started. She's got over 150,000 subscribers. Wow. Go and check out Gina De Luca if you're not already. And in fact, one better than that, she'll be pouring right after us, I believe, at 30 past the hour. So Gina De Luca's inspiration cards are exactly that. These are years worth of content that she then put onto cards with some color schemes for you to be able to recreate. And this actually here was, well, no, actually it wasn't that one, but one of these cards here was the inspiration for this pour. Yes. You can buy these on Amazon or you can get them from ginaluca.net. Yes. Please go get those cards. They're wonderful, not just for paint pouring, but like 
interior design inspiration, like colour swatches, all sorts. Yeah. The theory applies to everything. All right, so what am I going to do with these wonderful colours, Shopony? What's that? Well, I'm actually going to do Kissing Cups. Are you? I am. So I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Yes. I've got two cups here, and I'm going to start now layering these cups with these wonderful colours. I'm going to take them off here because I feel like I'm going to just knock them everywhere. Yeah. Um, kissing cups is basically two cups with the streams kissing as they come out onto the canvas. Yes. That's what I'm going to do in a straight pour style. I guess you could try and ring pour kissing cups, but that to me just sounds like I'm going to fall over. Right. So let's not do that. Yes. All right, so I'm going to layer these cups though the same and I'm going to layer them right on camera for you. This is my champagne mixture and oh. then I'm going to go in with a little gold. While you layer your yeah. cup, can I just say something? Please, go for sure. I just wanted to say hello everybody who has shown up. There's so many people that, that have like logged in here and um, I just wanted to say thank you all for being here and um, if I didn't get to say your name, I still see you on here. Um, there's so many people, you know, on here. Acrylic Creations by Jay Whitty. Jay Whitty's here. Cause is here. And Jennifer nice. R. Girlfriend in the house. Karen Burnett. Uh, Amy is here from Crafty Chicken Mom. Hey, CC. Oh, my Rose. gosh. Uh, so many. Paul, Paula Harvey is here. I mean, so many people are here. It's awesome. Welcome to you all on this yeah. chilly Sunday in Dallas, I'm going to tell you. It's probably about 55 degrees in the studio, so we've got a little heater underneath us. Yes. Warming our little legs, because it's a wee bit chilly. Hopefully it's a little warmer wherever you guys are. So in this pouring train today, we've got some talented, wonderful artists. It's ourselves, then it's Gina, then I believe it's Mina coming to you live from her new studio which is her garage yes. we're both garage pourers now yeah. just janice is here too ja hey janice my love tax season so janice is busy 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 rick friedman that's um uh cos's husband uh -huh. is, that's mr cos yeah actually and annette van etten's here hello rick good to see you pal can't wait to see you soon um so after mina it's going to be brian and then after brian i think it's nate is kind of like the ordering for the for the trains today. Nate, can you confirm that, that you're after Brian today? Can Nate confirm or deny the rumor <laughs> that he is in fact after Brian today? I'm loving that cup, it's beautiful. Thank you, sir. I'm kind of enjoying it myself. Yes, Nate is. Excellent. Speaking of Nate, Jeremy. Yes. How do you fancy a wee trip over to Costa Rica? Um, I would love to get to Costa Rica. Well, do you know, not only can you plan a trip to Costa Rica, but you can also pour with Nate Bright in Costa Rica. What? Yeah, he's doing a painting in paradise week long retreat. For anyone that so wishes, it's going to be in March. You can check out the information that will be listed in Nate's channel and I'm sure he's going to talk about it as he actually pours this afternoon but um yeah you can pour with him there's going to be kind of like real fun things to do in Costa Rica please check out Nate's channel and go and have a look at Painting in Paradise because if you want to go visit Costa Rica and you love fluid art and you love Nate Bright what better way to do all three things at once right uh, if it wasn't for the fluid art experience in just a few weeks after we would be there ourselves yes with spades on. I would be working right now to get my Speedo body ready so that I could paint in Speedos on the beaches of Costa Rica. Time check. Thank you. Jeremy doesn't like me talking about me in Speedos, why not? Okay, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get pouring these kissing cups onto the canvas. Are we 15 minutes past the hour already? We're at 11.07, oh I'm just keeping you on time. Holy moly. Two cups kissing. So all I'm gonna do is get the streams to touch and then I'm going to have them pouring onto the canvas in a straight pour style. Let's do this. Ooh. Studio 15 Acrylic says, I say paint in a nude. Oh, Barrison Acrylic is here. Hey, Gabe. Studio 15 is Brian's new channel. That's Brian from Upper Valley Artistry. Ah, oh, hey, Brian. Nude painting sounds messy. 
hard enough getting off your fingers out when as well as getting off other appendages. I, I tell you what, Brian, you do it first. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge, Boo Boo. I'm not sure I want to be, be in part of that. God says, I'm in, Brian. <laughs> Any excuse for cause to get naked. Okay. Rick might have something to say about that one. All right. Interesting colours, interesting combination. I'm interested to see what's going to happen next. So I'm going to torch the top of this off real quick, but I am also going to put a flow extender around this one as well. This one might end up being a little chaotic show pony. We'll see. Annette says she does it all the time. <laughs> it's, a, it's 50 odd degrees in the studio. It might be a little chilly yeah. to paint. But we'll, maybe that's one, something we'll do one day. Um, in private, of course. Okay, so um, I'm just going to get this flow extender all across this canvas. Now, if you guys weren't here, and if we had longer than 15 minutes to paint each, I'd be taking extra special attention and care of all these corners and making sure that there's paint all the way through this. However, this time around, I'm going to just do it at the end, just to make sure that Jeremy has enough time to get his little pour out too. And you get this white flow extend all over this canvas. Yes. One of the reasons why we love pouring live is just because we get to chat to you guys, but also it means that we don't have to edit videos <laughs> selfishly. Yeah. And uh, the little tape dog is keeping us extremely well occupied right now. Yep. Kathy Jens uh, Jensen's here. Kathy J, another one of our Patreons. Yes. If you don't know what Patreon is, please check out www.patreon.com slash massyartstudios. Yes. Nate Bright has his own. I know that there's a ton of people now that have little Patreon sites. Kathy, Kathleen Osmore, I've been shouting out to do one for the longest time. I know. I even created it for her, you know. She just needs to press a few buttons and off it will go. Brian says, where is the baby now? In the cage? He's in his little crate. He, he's in his little in his little bed. Jamie, what time is it? Um, it is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. But also, what time is it, Jamie? Um, it is 11.11. But, oh, that's good. It was 11.11 like five minutes ago when I asked you that same question. Everybody's just... asking if we're gonna, if they're gonna be able to see tape today. Not today, unfortunately. So if you're just here to see the tape dog, unfortunately, we're gonna disappoint you today. However, Tape Tuesdays are gonna be a new thing. He's gonna make an appearance on the channel on Tuesday for sure. Okay. Right, show pony. <laughs> Jay Whitty says two forty one. Two forty one. <laughs> this little piggy's crying because she's not going to get to see tape. Mm -hmm. He's an absolute superstar. Oh my god, he's been so good, you guys. So good. We've had him with his trainer. Yeah. Learning, like, leave it uh, this week, and we were yeah. leash training him this week. So he's got, he's had some, he's had a very busy week. He was exhausted after his visit with his trainer. Yeah. Oh, the trainer comes to the house. But, um, yeah, after he had his training, he was crazy tired yeah he was crazy tired but he's so good he sits he lays down he goes to his bed whenever he has a treat we can't wait to get him into like doggy daycare i know just so that you can kind of play play with other dogs and stuff he discovered his own reflection recently oh God, barking at the mirror how big will tate be when he's full grown about 25 pounds is what they say, but he's got big old paws. I think he's going to be more like 30 to 35 pounds, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, yeah I, I kind of agree. I don't think he's going to be quite as small as what the breeders think he was going to be, but we'll see. Oh, Jerry Peters here. We have Tina Henry. Tina, hello, welcome. If you're just joining us, I'm pouring some beautiful colours that Jeremy picked as inspiration from a pour that we did actually from Gina DeLuca's inspiration cards. Gina's going to pour right after us, and then you've got Mina, and then Brian, and then Nate, all pouring for your viewing pleasure today. Brian says this is giving me some Christmas vibes. It's I giving know. me, like, coral ocean kind of, like, I know vibes. Coral. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to call this one done. 
Okay. So I forgot to mention to you all that today's pour is also is also mixed with Mixed Media Girls pouring media. It is. If you use Messy 15, you guys will get a 15% discount. We don't get a bean. We don't want a bean from Marcy. She's our pal. But please use Massey 15 in the, in the uh, checkout for 15% off yeah. her site worldwide. But what I find with Marcy's pouring medium is you really do get these really stunning, big, bouldery cells. Now, I don't know that I would normally get that kind of effect from a, from a regular old kissing cups. Um, but I really do love all of these multicolored cells that we've got with the quinacridone kind of highlighting them. Jeremy, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Well, I'm going to remove this one from the table. Okay. I'm going to torch it on the floor. Okay. Whilst you get yourself over here okay. and you start pouring if that's um, okay. I just have to say, uh, Bear has, Bear's Den Acrylic Art has uh, a video coming up this afternoon. Um, just to let everybody know that. He just said that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Bear's Den. We appreciate you being here. All right, Jeremy. So, All right. let me move that out of your way, sir. Now you're going to okay. use exactly the same colors, right? Yes. Now, you be careful. Everyone close your eyes a second. Right. There you go, sir. We'll have to see how straight that is. There's nothing in this studio that's straight, sir. <laughs> nothing. Oh my God. All right, my favorite spot behind the camera. Here we go. Tracy Reed is here. Oh. Hello, Tracy. Thank you Hi, for Tracy. being here, my love. Jeez, what size gloves are these? Are these like for little hands? No, they're actually medium. No, they're larges. Really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jeremy, your hands are just growing. It's, all right. It's all that gym time you've been doing. Clearly, you've been there. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I feel, I feel like maybe I knocked it just a little. May I just... Maybe just a tad ski this way. There you go. Okay. All right. So, so what are you doing, sir? I'm repurposing this cup, first of all. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to... I was thinking about doing a marbling pour. You said you were going to like do that. Like a sandwich pour type uh, thing. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to actually do a um, grenade pour instead. Uh, no? No. Marbling? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, listen, let me tell you why. Yeah. One of the most talked about pieces of ours at the Fluid Art Experience in November was that pour where you marbled and then I blobbed on. That's true. So I was kind of thinking with these colours it would be really interesting to see a marble link All right. technique and then for me to blob on it. All right. Well, then let me get to flood. Why don't you lay your, your cup first and then you can actually... Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you like, babe. Whatever you like. I'm just, sorry, just, sorry, show pony. You know, I think five steps ahead of you. You wouldn't have been able to put that cup on your canvas true. if you'd have flood coated it. So tell so everyone, true. tell everyone at home what you're doing. Please. All right. So I'm putting a little bit of white paint in my cup. Why? Um, wow. Well, because what happens is, is that whenever I put color in in between the layers of paint, when I pour it, flip it onto my canvas, yeah. it actually makes the colors multi-layered. Yeah, so it kind of gives it that 3D kind of layered effect. Oh my God, I love it. So Studio 15 Acrylics, Brian, our pal, sent us $5 worth of Super Chat. Oh thank my you, God, thank Brian. you so much, you Brian. an absolute superstar. I've got to get your goodie box out to you guys. Oh my God, yeah, you totally do. Tracy has her own range of about a thousand 3D printed items. Really? Yeah, she said she was going to send us some to play around with. Oh my God. And you know we love like a split cup and a bottle bottom and all those kind of things. Tracy will happily play around with them. Yeah. TLP in the house. We're excited about some future collaborations oh, coming up with yes. those. You better believe guys it. Guys and gals. Brian, get your book down here. Okay. I'm so excited for your studio. Oh my gosh. I don't know why Kathleen keeps referring to it as her studio. It's actually going to be my pied de terre. I've already asked her to confirm the rent for me so that I can rent it out as my holiday home yes. in Florida. Nice. She keeps saying it's a studio. I don't know why she's getting herself all confused. Now, what I'm trying to do is not pierce the paint. I'm just trying to quickly uh, pour paint over the top of that. And why we call this a marbling technique is because of the fact that when Jeremy pours this out onto his canvas, you will see it looks like a slab of marble. Yes. But it's also called a sandwich pour. It's also called a ton of other things I'm sure. Yes. Brian actually from Studio 15 Acrylics has a ton of these types pours on his canvas, but he uses a lot more color 
you always go for a lot more subtle of an effect. I do. Okay, oh, Kathleen just told me that there's no restroom in the uh, in my piano tear. Listen, oh, if, well. if it's good enough for Lido, then it's good enough for me. I'll go potty in the yard, no problem. Right, is there a tree? <laughs> I hope so. Heavy art in France. Kathleen, you're going to be studio, studio jacked. Yeah, absolutely she is. I'm going to change the locks on her and everything. I'm trying to hurry up and do this in the allotted time. No, it's okay. You've actually, you've, you've got a good 10 minutes. Okay. Gina DeLuca is here. She just can't talk. Gina, we've already mentioned the fact that these pores today are actually brought to you courtesy of the Gina DeLuca Fluid Art Cards. Yes. These were our inspiration for today's pour. You can get these at GinaDeLuca.net or on Amazon with 100% of the proceeds going to the artiste, Gina DeLuca. Gina's actually going to be pouring right after us at 30 minutes past the hour. Nice. TLP's in the house. It was one of the TLP's lovely ladies' birthday this week. Can you all say happy birthday to Lani? Lani. Lani. Maybe that's just the accent. <laughs> I, like to, I like to accentuate the R, even though there isn't one in there. Lanny, Lanny, happy birthday, Lanny, this week, if you're there and you're listening. 63 beeps with us today. Yes. You know, Brian from Studio 13, Gina DeLuca and I were all talking this morning. Yeah. And one of the things that we've all realised through looking through some of our analytics is that for every person that watches, one of them is subscribed and one of them isn't. Okay. And for about one in every four or five people that watch, one of them has their notification bell struck and one, and the other four or five don't. So on Tuesday's episode, I'm going to take you through a little tutorial on how to actually set up your notifications for YouTube artists. That way you don't get to miss some of the fun content that those guys are putting out. And that will come to you courtesy of Gina DeLuca, Art Brian from Studio 13 and ourselves. How many studios will that be now? Kathleen Ray's here. Princess Jasmina's here. Oh, nice. Royalty in the house. Yeah, it's always nice to be in the presence of royalty. We've got the queen of the swipes here as well. Rose M Creations. Hello. Oh, Sonnet is here. That's it, yeah. Oh, early. you did say that. All the way from yeah. South Africa. South Africa. Thank you, Sonnet, for being here. So what Jeremy's doing, as I was yip yapping all the way through this, is basically layering thick bands yeah. of white paint with very thin layers of colour in between. And actually, yes. there's one, two, three, four. Every time you do that, you wobble in the camera. Sorry. One, two, three, four layers of paint there. Yes. The whole reason for a rubber glove show pony is to get them dirty. You know that. I know that. <laughs> I know that. For the wobblage out there, it's just show pony who doesn't like getting his fingers dirty, so he's wiping them on his puppy pad. I you think. are going to get spanked later. You just better watch yourself. <laughs> you better check yourself, boo. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, no, look at that. There you go. That's a white, titanium white, mixed also with yes. Marcy's Pouring Medium, which you can get at www.mixmediagirl.com. I feel like an infomercial today. I kind of like it. <laughs> if you Pouring want to get shot. your hands on some pouring medium, all you need to do is go to www.mixmediagirl.com. Use Massey15 for a 15% discount site-wide. That's www.mixmediagirl.com using Massey15 for a 15% discount site-wide. Do it oh, today. Lord. Lord have mercy. I think I should be a voiceover artist. Really? Yeah. In a world where Jeremy paints at the speed of a tortoise. Oh my god. You've got Massey Art Studios presenting how to do a marbling pour. I wish you guys could see the 30 shades of red of embarrassment <laughs> that I have right now. Why are you embarrassed? I should be the one that's embarrassed, not you. He hasn't gotten out of the house much this week. You know, I really haven't gotten out of the house. It's because of that blooming little puppy of ours. I know. I, I just don't want to leave him. The speed of a tortoise. Exactly. Oh, happy Chinese New Year to everyone out there. Anyone who's celebrating, happy New Year. It is the year of the rabbit. It is the year of the rabbit. 
I didn't really know that, but... It is. I, it is the year of the rabbit. Jeremy was actually born under the year of the tortoise, I'm sure of it. No. Nope. The turtle. The year of the rat. <laughs> uh, there you go. Say no more. All right, so you've covered your canvas with the base coat next. I did. I'm going to flip this on to the canvas. Give me a tip. Keep your elbow in and use your wrist to flip it. Do it. One, two, three. Whoop! Wow, I love that. Well, thank you. You didn't spill hardly any paint yeah. there. Thank you. Wow, that was a great tip. Wonderful. Rabbits are wonderful pets. I love that. How, okay. much, coffee, how much coffee have I had? Too much. Too yes, witty. we both had like about Too four much. cups of coffee. <laughs> All right, what uh, next? I am going to uh, pull it up. Flip it? I'm flip it. Flip it and lip it. Okay. So flip it and lip it. Ooh, oh, ooh, and an extra lip there just for good measure. If I may, I'm gonna help you torch it off because if you try and do it with that tiny ass creme brulee torch, we're gonna be here until next week. You can't say that word. I can say A yeah. if there's nothing at all. I think I probably can. No, you can't say the A word. Well, it's too late, it's been said. Ooh, I love right. the color. I do too. It's gonna to be really interesting to see how this stretch out. I used a lot of color actually, which I normally don't do. You did because you were Russian. Yeah, I was Russian. You were Russian? I was Russian. Okay. Um, all right, show pony, what time is it? It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. All right. Ooh, I love all the little cells. My Marcy's pouring medium is interacting with these paints. A treat. That's where you're getting all these these cells. But in all in all fairness, we've also got fire opal, which is a metallic. We've got gold, which is a metallic. I've got gold in the green, and there's gold in the champagne. So there's a lot of metallics in there as well. It's crazy how your color palette and my color palette are the same, but we've got very, very different compositions here. Kind of cool. I'm liking it. I love it. You know, you know this is going to be perfect for me to blob on because there's so many blobs on there already. I know. Pretty pretty from Annette Wilkinstrom. Wilkstrom. Wilkstrom, sorry, Annette. Butchered your name. Because of the white. I love the marble pores. That's from, from Brian. Brian's got some beautiful uh, pores of these type marbling techniques on his channel. Please go check. CCM loves it. Jay Whitty hears a leaf blower. Yes. Me too. There was a leaf blower. It never ceases to, you know. It, it's been quiet as dead. It's been quiet as a mouse. Church mouse, so you wouldn't be able to hear a, a, a bloody gnat fart around here. But then all of a sudden we get pouring and yep. the lawnmowers come out, the garbage truck will come down the street. I know. It is Sunday though, I guess. I wanted to keep more of that. Jeremy, this is so pretty. Thank you. Wow, the trousers. I love it. I don't know if I want you to pour a uh, blob on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I like it. I don't know if I want you to blob on okay, it. Okay, well maybe I maybe you'll just have to do another one for me now. Yes. What's the What's your temperature there? It's about fifty-ish. It's about freezing. It's yeah. It's a few degrees above. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's cold. We do actually have a little heater that's pointing at us directly underneath the table. It's a beautiful landscape, Jeremy. Queen of the landscapes from Kathleen. Oh, really? Well, yeah. thank you, Kathleen. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back this way. Painted desert vibes from Bear's Den, absolutely. Listen, there are so many wonderful people that have joined us here today that have their own channels. I know. If you aren't subscribed to all these wonderful peeps, like Jay Whitty, like Brian, like Bears Den, Studio 15, like everyone that's here, Just Janice has her own channel doing wonderful mixed media products. Oh my God, go check out Just Janice. Steampunk vibes all the way through her pores and her, her, through her channel. Please are go we, check her out. She does some wonderful good? stuff. Are we centered? Uh, yeah, you are. Actually, that's perfect. Tracy Reed has her own channel, her own paint products. Tons of people here have their own channels. Please go check them out. Please go subscribe, hit that notification bell. This yes. is all about community, all about celebration. Let's celebrate everyone that's here today. Yes. Jeremy, I love that. 
Thank you. Kathy Jensen's just sent ten dollars in super chat. Kathy, oh my God, you are thank I you love so much, one Kathy. of our patrons. Thank you for being here. You're an absolute superstar. Yes. I um, love this. I do too. You don't need to do anything else to that right now. Nope. Can I tell you why? It's time. It's time. <laughs> it is. It's eleven twenty-eight. We need to get this painting torched, torched, scraped on the edges. Yes. And then we're going to make sure that everyone follows us over to Gina DeLuca because she's got a wonderful pour coming up next. Yes. After Gina, it's the wonderful Mina, then it's Brian, and then it's Nate. So you've got some people pouring for your viewing pleasure today. Please go follow them all. And then come back and see us on Tuesday for a wonderful pour. And then it's going to be Tate on Tuesdays going forward. You'll always get a little pup date from that little rascal as well. And anything, he is a little rascal. Anything you want to say, Jezebel, before we let everyone go? Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you to the wonderful mods for helping us out. I Kathleen, know. we love you. Can't wait to see you. Kathleen's got some wonderful crackle paintings on her channel, which you need to go check out. But, um, yeah, guys, you guys are the bestest. Thank you for being here with us today for a, a sweet little pour. Yep. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. See you back here on Tuesday. Bye, everyone. Oh, my God, you're with this is even more pretty up close. Oh, thank you. I love this. I'm definitely going to take it off you and blob on it. Bye, everyone. Bye. A little close-up of this pour as I let everyone go. I really like it. I love it. Marcy's pouring medium, guys. Go get it while you can. Grab it while it's hot.